What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm sure Harley had some reason for putting reflectors on the saddlebags on the new Electric Glide standard. But I'm not a fan and I have a fix for it. So we're going to remove these reflectors and then we're going to put some new lights in their place. Hey, we're halfway there. For those of you that don't know me, my name is John Max, and I'm a highly trained unprofessional right here at Chattahoochee Harley Davidson. And on this channel, I bring you guys to work with me. So if you want to learn more about Harley Davidson, you should hit the subscribe button right now. In today's video, we're actually going to be installing the Ciro bag blades. You might remember them from last month when my girl Reese got some filler panel lights installed at the Ciro tent in Daytona. She also had some other stuff installed, and a lot of you guys were asking about the bag blades. So. Let's unbox them. Now these do fit 97 and later touring. Last month we installed them on a 19 Street Glide. This month we're installed on a 119 Electric Glide Standard because I was tired of looking at those ugly reflectors that Harley put on the saddlebags. In the box we have. I ripped the instructions like a boss. <laughs> We have full color instructions as always from Ciro that I so awesomely just ripped with pictures of how they're going to look, the routing of the wire, the plug and play connections underneath the seat, and how to plug in the controller. More on that in a minute. We have the lights themselves. There's a left and a right side. We have the controller that I'll be sure to show you some close-ups of in just a minute. And we have all of the clamps and zip ties that we might need to route the wires along the saddlebag. So, let's install it. Now I mentioned these are plug and play, but they're also no drilling required, which means that they are double-sided taped. So I'm gonna clean up my saddlebag area where these are gonna go with any sort of ammonia-based Windex works. I use rubbing alcohol, because I got a squirt bottle of rubbing alcohol and not Windex. I'm gonna test fit these real quick to determine left and right side, but I'm gonna make sure that my lids are closed and latched little wire piece goes fender side, you know, so we can route the wire in just a minute. If you put them on the wrong side, they don't, they don't fit. You can tell they're wrong. So kind of make sure you know what's what. I always set them so they're even with the lid and just a, just a tiny bit away from the lid when it's closed. That way there isn't any contact because over time that lid, if it was touching it, probably be able to peel the tape. Not right away, but eventually. I'm gonna hold it there for 60 seconds, which means I have some time to uh, talk about how they're smoked lenses only. That's, they don't offer a clear. They light up red for run and brake lights, and then they switch to amber for turn signals, which adds a little extra visibility in my opinion. Kind of catch your eye when it's time to turn. Um, they're also linked in the description. There are different packages, different year model fitment and stuff. So I'll link them all, you know, for the 14 and later and for the 97 to 09, I think, I don't know, whatever the things are, I'll check into that. Pro tip two, this tape doesn't work if it's really cold outside. So in here, you know, air conditioned slash heated room, I can install this stuff year round. If you're in one of those snowy states and it's cold outside and you don't have a heated garage or something, you might want to wait until it's a little warmer, at least above 50 degrees. That way it'll actually stick and the tape won't be all jacked up. In order to do the whole routing thing, I'm going to pull the seat off and each saddlebag. I'll show you the routing on one saddlebag and then I'll show you the controller. Let me just take the bike apart real quick. All right, both saddlebags have wires routed just like they're supposed to. I'll show you close up. Here, here, and here, with the wire dangling out here. Now we'll get the controller set up so we can get this thing done. I'll show you what they look like. Bloop. On this particular model, this is your rear lighting connector right here. They're six pin Molex like this one. They're just, the location is different for each model. A lot of them are right here in this empty slot next to the gray connector. These look the same, but one has a brown wire in it. You can remember that the brown wire is the right. It's actually easier to remember. See, brown is a five letter word. Right is a five letter word. That's how I remember it. So brown is always the right. Violet is always the left because 
Well, left and violet don't have the same amount of numbers in the word. Now, I'll just bring my saddlebags over here since I've already routed those wires and we'll see where these connectors are actually gonna live. So we've got right side bag plugged in right here. I kind of tuck it underneath this little piece so that when you do need to take the bag off, it'll pop right out of there so you don't have to take the seat off. But that way the connector's not like dangling around somewhere. On the left side, I kind of did the same thing. And I just kind of ran a zip tie around all this stuff to kind of keep it centered in here so it's not sitting on top of any bolts or anything. But I left enough slack in each of the bag blade saddlebag like specific side to pull it out from underneath the seat. So I don't have to take it out, you know. Yeah, you get the idea. Oh, I should probably turn this down because they're super bright. All right. That's dope. It like from center to outside, like I'm going that way. I can dig it, bro. So quality of product is obviously top notch. What we've come to expect from Ciro 3D. I like the low sleek look of it. It's super bright. All that stuff is great, but I do have a little gripe on the actual harness stuff. It could be a little longer. Stuff like this with that controller, I actually usually try to tuck it behind the battery because there's actually some space back there. And I managed, it fits back there and everything, but none of the wiring is long enough. So I have to leave it up above by the battery tray, which is something that as a tech, I'm in there trying to tighten battery terminals or replace batteries. So I try to leave that area open. So I do wish the wires were a little longer, but not a deal breaker on the product at all, just a area for improvement, if you will. Now, speaking of the controller that I installed today, if you're already running the filler panel lights, like on Reese's Street Glide from last month, they do make a Road King or Limited style that fits in this weird hole that exists on the Electric Glide standard in Road King and Ultra Limited. They make one for that too. If you're already running that stuff, it comes with the controller. So when you order this set, linked in the description, you don't need the one with the controller. Hopefully that all makes sense to you. I discussed it last month too. If you watch my videos regularly, you know that. If you don't watch them regularly, you should start. You can actually start by hitting the subscribe button right now. And if you like this video, make sure to give a big dirty thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, that subscribe button's still there. If you hadn't quite got your fix, there's a video right here and here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.